Hey there champions, how are you doing? Well, some of you after my last video on checklist and tasks asked me to create a video on one of the tools that I recommended, ClickUp. Yes, it's a tool that can help you create checklists. It can help you assign tasks to your employees and manage those tasks with ease. So here's a video where I'm going to cover some basics and introduce you to this fantastic tool that I personally use called ClickUp. Keep watching. Welcome back champions. My name is Hardik Arsora and I make videos to help your business grow. If you think what I say makes sense and if you feel a conversation with me can help you troubleshoot some of your business challenges, then all you need to do is come on to my website, scroll a little down, select the relevant area that you need help in, answer a few questions and there you should be able to book a one-to-one -one conversation call with me absolutely free. If you're wondering what these calls look like and sound like, well, I'm going to be pasting the playlist of these very calls in the description box and it will also appear somewhere near this eye icon. So coming to ClickUp. Now I'm going to do this video in two parts. First, let's understand what are the nomenclatures used for ClickUp because without understanding that when I take you inside ClickUp, you will get confused. So what are the things that you must know? So first thing, there is, a, there is something called a space in ClickUp. Imagine a space is equal to your company. Then after, under that space, you can create folders. Folder represents a department. Now you may also skip the folder and go to the third one, which is list. List, I say, are re recurring activities that you may want to, uh, that you may be conducting. For example, if you're looking at sales, then there is a recurring activity of sending proposals. There is a recurring activity of finding leads. There is a recurring activity of creating brochures. Now, all of these recurring activities, each one can have separate list. Under each list, you will have tasks. Tasks are nothing but things that you need to do to accomplish and make sure that that activity gets done. And under task, you will have checklist, which is things that you should not forget to complete the task on time and really, really well without missing out on stuff. So now that you've understood the different levels of how ClickUp works, you will be able to understand ClickUp far better. So let's jump into ClickUp now. All right, guys. So I'm going to keep it as simple as possible, but I'm starting from my desktop so that you know what ClickUp icon looks like and how does it work. So this is how the ClickUp icon really looks like. Uh, you obviously click on that and your instance of software will open up. Now, because my ClickUp was already open, it kind of quickly came about, but in your case, it may take a little while. Now, what you will see is something, a screen, something like this, uh, but you don't have to worry. Like I mentioned earlier with ClickUp, only learn things step by step, otherwise you may get extremely confused. So do only as much as I'm sharing in this video to start with. And as you learn to work with ClickUp, you will learn new features on the way. So what you got to do is you got to click on this tick mark here. You won't have anything on these lines, but you will have a, a, an option which says add space. So you got to click on add space and right now we are going to do, let's say, uh, test. Uh, and let me tell you, the space is like your enterprise, okay? So you just go do next, next, next. Don't worry about the options like I mentioned. Just go ahead, do next, and finish off. Create a space. You will see the space created. The name will appear here. Everything that you did not see and clicked on the next blindly, don't worry if you want to change that, you can change that any given point in time. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, once you're in the space, then you've got to create something called as folder. You again come to the tick mark, you will see your test one, which is your space. You can create a folder or you can create a list. 
Now the same thing you can do by clicking on this plus sign here and there are several things that you can do within the space, okay? So I normally use this because this is easier uh, and I am very comfortable doing it this way. So test, now folder is when you have a department, you create department wise folder. And if you are a small organization and there are no multiple departments, then you may simply want to do list, okay? So for those of you who have departments, I'm gonna teach you how to go about creating a folder. It's fairly simple. So I'm gonna say sales and marketing, okay? This is just another department that I will create. And there, you know, my department is created. My folder is created. Now under this folder, you got to be creating a list, okay? One list gets automatically created. So I'm just simply going to uh, rename the list. So I click on that and I click on this icon that looks like a pencil and I'm going to say uh, funnel management, which means all the leads that come to my company, uh, all the tasks related to managing those leads. Now I clicked on funnel management. So now you can see I'm in sales and marketing folder, uh, which is a department under that I'm in funnel management. Now there are two kinds of views that are available to me. One is a list view and the other one is a board view. I normally prefer board view because that's easier for me. You could choose the one that you like. I'm going to do this video for a board view because that's comfortable to me. So board view. Board view, you have two steps listed here by default. You can add as many as you want, okay? So let's say um, I'm going to rename this because it's funnel management. So I'm going to say, lead received because that's the first step and then i'm going to come to uh, the next one and i'm going to say um, proposal sent and uh, i'm going to add one more uh, nego or let's say closed okay and uh, maybe which means we've we've got that and uh, yeah so that's that's how it's going to be now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on this new task so under this i can create new task i can say okay um, lead received can be the name of the person so i say mr x y z okay I'm going to say that is the lead that I have received. Now, who's managing this lead? I can always assign a task of managing this to all the people who are in my team. Now, the reason why these people appear here because each one of them have created an account and all of them have joined my space, okay? So that's, that's one thing that you've got to do. Once they join your space, you would be able to assign them the task. So I'm going to be assigning this to Aarti and I'm gonna say save. Now, here is XYZ and he needs to be managed, he needs to be spoken to, et cetera, et cetera. Now, how, what all needs to be done in terms of management, that needs to be defined. So I'm gonna double click on that and I get into the task, okay? Now in the task, I can say what the person has to do. So I'm going to say, uh, speak with the person, and attempt to close the deal, okay? That's that's what the task is all about. Now, how is the person going to do? So first is I'm gonna say subtask schedule a call, okay? And then I'm going to do one more, um, meet and propose or meet and understand requirement, gather requirement, and then I'm going to say send proposal, okay? Or uh, so you can add tasks basically. Very, very easy. And each of these tasks you could go and rename later on in case if you want to. Um, so that's, that's pretty much easy here. You could also add a checklist. So if you want to do uh, something uh, in a specific order, so when you send a proposal, let's say for example, you want to do a checklist, then you can click on this particular subtask. Now you are inside the subtask. And inside the subtask, you could add a checklist. Now, if you've made a checklist, you can add it automatically so you don't have to make one all the time. But if you haven't, 
then you simply can create a checklist okay so create a checklist is let's say step one i don't know what the step is so i'm just going to for example purpose is step one step two step three okay now this is a checklist that i have created for him if there is an attachment or a format that i want to give her for for her to be able to send the proposal in the right way then i can i can send attachment i can send a document i can link it to dropbox google drive whatever way i want to do i can do all of that and then close this stuff so now what has happened it is come to this place now if if the proposal has been sent then i'm going to move this task and the proposal sent okay and it's going to say are you sure about this the task has three unresolved items because it has sub task so until the sub task is completed or marked as complete it will always give you warning so people cannot skip the process right now i will move from here to here from here to here okay this is upside down so don't uh, that's a mistake that's not how it's supposed to be you can always move it in the right fashion and that's how you go about creating lists and tasks now i will show you some of my spaces for easy understanding okay so let's say this is another channel that i have created a list that i have created called prospect meetings okay now it has several like i showed you it has meetings uh, to be scheduled it has meeting scheduled it has email proposals it has follow ups it has onboarding which means people came on and close people who we closed you know we they are already with us now so oops so people who are already with us now so all that i need to do is i just need to click on this move it here once the task is done then move it here then move it here move it here and you see there are people who are assigned on on these tasks right on each one of them and when they are assigned uh you know who's supposed to be doing what okay and there is there are also tags that are created so you will learn about tagging and all of this as you move ahead but there are tags that are created which can tell you what this is for what product are you uh trying to sell or any other way you want to use the tags and you can keep moving as the task move if you have assigned it to somebody if that somebody moves the task you should be able to see where that task is broadly as a dashboard it will also show you how many tasks are at what step so that you can either reassign you can put comments there and you can do several other things this clickup software also has something else which is really really wonderful especially when you go for meetings you know here is a section called notes or docs okay i'd like to show you this as well so when you go into docs okay you can create a new doc you can see some of my docs here so if you go into a meeting you can create a document in clickup and you can say review meeting let's say you are reviewing the performance of somebody and now you during the meeting you discuss something and that results into a task so you don't have to go back into clickup all you need to do is let's say this is a task one that that you figured out that okay meeting is done and there is a new task all you got to do is just write task one or whatever that task is and so let me write what something needs to be done let's say this is a task okay you just select it and there'll be a pop up which says new task so you click on this new task and it will tell you where do you need to put this okay so you can put this in your list in your departments you can assign it to anybody you could do that you could place it into the list this icon tells you who you need to assign to so you can assign it to somebody this will help you set a priority this will help you put a deadline to that task so you don't really need to jump out from your meeting uh, notes into uh, adding task you can do it right from here i hope you are enjoying this tutorial there is a lot more that can be done with clickup but like i promised to you the idea is to clarify and not complicate so i'm going to urge you to go into clickup create an account for you and for your team get them to uh, join your space create the task list and checklist predefined so that you can start onboarding people and you know working more systematically than you were yesterday all the very best so now that you've seen the clickup i'm sure you love this tool don't get confused trying several options just do what we just learned 
and as you continue doing you will get to know one feature uh, at a time one new feature at a time that's the best way to learn a very very comprehensive tool like this i hope this will help you streamline your organization and i am sure with the help of this tool you will keep propelling so if you like this video do hit a big fat thumbs up if you have friends and colleagues who are struggling to finish tasks then send this video to them ask them to implement clickup if you haven't subscribed to this channel for more videos like this go ahead show some love hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell icon that way you will know every time i put a video so until we meet next time keep learning keep implementing and you find guys keep talking